Hello and welcome back to another Python 3 tutorial. My name's Tom with Masscode Online. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. It keeps me motivated. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about nested functions. Um, a couple of tutorials ago, we learned how the basics of functions. So over the next, uh, I don't know, several tutorials, we'll be bouncing back and forth between functions because functions are really important in programming. Um, they help you know mainly not repeat ourselves and I'm very lazy so um, I don't like to repeat myself so uh, let's go ahead and um, take a look at some nested functions I'm going to show you a, a couple different ways we can write nested functions so fire up your Python interpreter and let's get started uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, define a function so define number we're not going to pass any parameters and what we're going to do is create a local variable, if you remember that from our previous tutorial, so local variable. And now we're going to create a new function inside here, and we're going to define that function, we're going to say addition. And we're going to pass a parameter as a is equal to a, so it's a position parameter. All right. Um, and then in here we're going to say print a plus a so here's our actual addition going on all right then we're going to come down here and we're going to return this function inside this function so we're just going to say addition like that and then we're going to come down and call our containing function and there we go we got 20 all right so a right here is getting passed as a parameter here in in addition and it's going to print a plus a which is 20 and that is returned here and then we just uh, call number so that is like the basic of all basic nested functions all right now that's not very dynamic because if I was going to go ahead and uh, do this I would not write a function I'd probably just do like b is equal to 10 plus 10 because that would have been a heck of a lot easier right than writing all this so let's go ahead and look at a way to make a nested function a little bit more dynamic so let's go ahead and define number so we're going to do basically the same thing up here we're going to pass the parameter this time of a all right and then we're going to define our addition function inside here and we're going to do another uh, positional parameter of a is equal to a and down here we're going to go ahead and print uh, a pl plus a all right and then we're going to call addition addition and this time we are going to am i missing something here i don't think so anyway uh, let's see number and then we're going to pass a number in there and we get 10 all right for some reason i was for, thought i was missing something sorry about that so what's going on here all right so we're calling the number function we're passing an argument of five all right so five up comes up here into our parameter all right and then we're coming down here a is equal to a so now a right here is representing a and a five plus five is ten we call that function and then we get our number here all right so that's a nested function all right so i probably wouldn't write it like this in, in practice um now this is dynamic and this would serve a purpose but most likely i would write it more like this all right if i had two functions um so let's say we have define uh um addition all right, we're going to pass the parameter of A. And what we're going to do is go ahead and do print. No, let's do um, it's a little different here. Let's do uh, total is equal to A plus A. All right, and we're going to come down and return total. All right, and then I'm going to come down and create a new and uh, my number function so it'd be num -ber. and I'm going to do um, a as a parameter and this time we're going to do b is equal to addition and then in here we'll put the parameter of a 
and then come down and return B and this time we're going to pass number of uh, 100 and we get 200 so what's going on here all right so we created a function up here called addition we're passing a parameter of a then down here we're adding a plus a and we get a total returning total all right so that's a pretty basic function right there um, then down here we're calling another function called define number of a so we're passing a number here and we're going to call addition the addition function in here we're setting that to a variable or a variable of b is going to represent that that return and then we're returning um, most likely this is more the way i would write it than the other previous two steps but hey that's me but now you see there's three different or at least a minimum of three different ways for you to write um a function and get the same answer all right I like to write it this way because it's cleaner I don't have such a mess inside my functions so if you guys have any questions please let me know otherwise don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share I'll see you in the next tutorial